whenever you are listening to this, um, if your week was hard too, if a day out of your week was hard, I am feeling it with you. I understand and I hope that the next week is better for you and for me. So I'll be back. another teacher vlog welcome back to the channel my name is vivian this is life with v and t today is life with v as she teaches first grade anyway so here i am pulled up to the school didn't turn on my apple watch i think it's about seven maybe like 6 50 um first thing i need to do let me turn you guys over and show you so first thing i need to do is this is all from um our last module like the last unit that we taught so i need to take this off um to just get it ready for the new target i mean the new unit so like this book is from the old unit we're no longer learning about the sun okay we're no longer learning about any of this like this is something i will probably move um because i always just want them to remember about high quality work and what that looks like but this other stuff like time of day adjectives what the sun sees summer sun rising i probably also keep this up here um but everything else has to go this has to go right here and that i actually need to finish um but yeah so that needs to move from there because it doesn't go there and again these need to come down we have new words and all this so i'm gonna get to that right now yeah let's do that this table change this table so i think i want to turn it from facing like this back wall and this window to um to facing this wall so do that very quickly just to like see and i hate the way now that i'm looking at it i hate the way this wall is so bare um and like before I had like my math anchor charts up there um but i took them down because i don't even know why but i need to get some stuff over here like you turn like i got that i got my word wall i even got like over there um but i need to get some stuff over there <music> Oh, 
the question is do I want to turn this and get all of this wall space or not I think I'm gonna turn it so let's do that this looks like now um and i like it one when it was turned the other way um like my kids were like the ones that were on like this side was like on the wall so that wasn't really working but now i feel like i can see better like because this is where the library is and i was kind of feeling like when i was against the wall i couldn't really like see the library like well enough so I think this is much better. Um, now I'm just gonna, like, we have plenty of things. And so I'm just gonna get them up on the wall. Here I am, I'm back. It is 2.12. My kids are in their specials. <sighs> Today has been rough, y'all. Rough. I'm currently um, stuffing these envelopes. To send home to to send their report cards home, um, but today has been rough, and I'm missing three of my kids. And you know how normally, like, if you're missing kids, it's you know, like the day can be easier or whatever. But no, it's just been rough. And I feel like the last couple of days or like weeks since coming back have been rough. And I feel like because we came back from break, you know, you already expect they have to get re like they have to get back into the routine of what it means to be a student, what it means to follow the rules in our classroom, what it means to interact with each other. All these things after being home for winter break. And so I expected that. But then, we missed so many days in between that. So, like, we came back on the 4th, like, right around the time it takes them to kind of get back into the groove of everything. Then we were out for Martin Luther King Day, obviously. Then we were delayed the, the following day. No. Well, they canceled school that Tuesday. We were delayed that Wednesday came in on thursday so delayed on wednesday came in about they came in about 10 was here on thursday then they were we were out on friday for weather then that monday the 24th was a teacher work day so they it's just been so inconsistent that they can't really get in the groove not to mention they all weren't even here upon returning from Christmas break or winter break because cases. So today is the most Monday Monday ever. Like I I'm exhausted. Okay, I'm like the most exhausted I'm just exhausted um kids were just not it today they they were all over the place they were unfocused it, it just was a day today it was a Monday for real and uh, I'm tired, y'all. I didn't have a coffee today. And that could have contributed to the, the way I just was feeling. Um, like, my room looks a mess right now. <coughs> Good morning. It's a new day. It's Tuesday. So, yesterday, things 
I was on here and I was telling you about how yesterday was the most Monday of all the Mondays that I've ever like experienced here as a like just experience as a teacher. Um, but there was a lot going on. Like I was talking to my coworker, and then after work, um, there was a meeting because um, our principal is going to a different school. So yesterday was her last day. Um, and so we kind of was just like, um, there was just like a meeting or whatever in regards to that. So after school was like, <clears throat> you know, anyways. But let me back up. Good morning. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, it's another day. It's another teacher day. It's day two of this week. It already feels long. Um, yesterday was just, it was just a day. I don't even know. Like, I didn't have my coffee. And I don't know, it felt like we all were just a little bit off. But anyways, today's a new day. So that's it, that's all. So um, <laughs> I was gonna show you guys like how bad it was because my room looks a mess and I never, like, leave my room looking a mess, but I'm not even gonna show you. I'm not even, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clean up my area, and I have to do some anchor charts over. I think I'm gonna do that, and that's it. <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna play myself and show y'all the mess that is my classroom. But anyway, it's a Tuesday. We are in place value in math. We just started a new unit in modules. We're learning about birds. We're working on syllables and um, skills. So, yeah, that's it. So, I'm just going to get to this thing. I'm just going to get working. And that's all. So, I'll catch you on the next clip. And don't judge my nails. I think I said that yesterday. I'm like taking them off because I'm just taking them off. Um, and I'm just going to get them done over because I kept hitting my hand. So like two of them came off and then I hit my thumb and it was hurting. So then I took that one off yesterday. And so I'm just going to take the rest of these off because I look ridiculous. I was trying to wait until the weekend. And I can't make it. I was walking around looking like this. And that's mad days. So. If you see this. Just don't judge. Life is life in. But I'm about to get. That's all. Just life is life in. But they about to get done. That's all you need to know. Thanks. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Um, I just wanted to hop on here really quick um, because we do have a meeting this morning. So it is about 6.50 our meeting. Our staff meeting is um, at 7.15. Um, so I am just going to go over my lesson plans for today um just get a better idea of what it's supposed to look like what we're supposed to be doing the goals and all that to make sure that i hit what needs to be hit um i have been in the process of um cleaning my desk like just making it more functional so i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now I wish I could have picked up the camera yesterday to show you what it like looked like all day because I started in the morning and then my st my kids started to come in and so I was like just doing all the things um 
like I just had I like to talk to them in the morning like because that's like one of the best times like in the safest times where we're not doing so much to really just hear what they have to say um because my kids I love them so much because they love to talk and I feel like we've been building relationships where they are comfortable um like talking you know and their kids so you know you know it's different every day it's not always the same but i really just try to we try to nourish um those conversations and, and the relationships that we're building um because i really believe that a class community is important to helping them learn better um and helping them trust me so that I can teach them um so I just anyway I say all that to say that in the morning when they do come in and they have so much to say especially like on Mondays or if something happened I, I try to give them the attention that they're asking for that they're seeking in that moment so anyways yeah so yesterday my desk all day was a mess because I was moving stuff but now I feel like it's looking better and it's getting to where I want it to be and what I've been noticing with me is that I try to do so many things at one time and so my goal right now is really is as I'm in the the thick of it right as I'm in the middle of the school year or the second half of the school year I'm noticing that some things I had in place just aren't working right papers some of them have places some of them don't things have places and some things don't and so I've been trying to, you know, get a better system. But like me, I'm doing all the things I want. So like I was working on my desk and then I'm working on this area, all at the same time. And when I'm doing that, it makes a bigger mess. So right now I'm focusing on my desk today. Should be done. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And then I'm going to move on to the next thing that I want to work on. Let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. And so this is what it looks like now. It it was way way more so this so my desk is an L okay so like that's where my desktop lives and then this was always supposed to just be my computer desk like from from my laptop um but before it was just there was no room here because what I essentially want is that I want this space to be kind of where I can do some grading, um, kind of like set it up for the next day. So like right now, I have this. <laughs> this is the morning work for today, right? And though I do have this cart, I feel like it's better if I can pull it out like the day before. So like basically at the end of today, I will pull out Thursdays then it's just here for me to grab especially like if I happen to be absent or anything happens it's easier for someone to just find it so besides like this right now it looks much better okay now I'm also this looks like this which is much better than it was looking this is a mess in its own I know what's in there but I just need it to look better those extra masks, I don't, I think there's like one left. I'm actually about to grab it and that's probably going to be in the garbage. But like, my plan, I put it here. I might put it back over here, but for now it's there. This is like my desk calendar. Um, this is my Mr. Pen. has like sticky notes. This is where I write like my to-dos or if I need to grab like a quick, um, and, um, sticky note. I grab it from here. Um, and then this just looks a little bit better than it was looking. Still a little bit of work that needs to happen. Just a little bit more functional, but it's good. Now, what was living over there where, like, that, li um, that light is and the um, gumball and that cup was my teacher toolbox. Now, this is another area which is much looks much better than it was looking. But this is kind of where all of my extra 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 copies go um but clearly like my laminate is there that stuff needs to be laminated my teacher toolbox is there i like that there i'm probably gonna take that water bottle and like put it on top there but like 
papers. Like I kind of put this here, right? That needs to be laminated, so it kind of goes there. But like this, this doesn't go here. So like this is kind of just like papers, like copies that I made. Like so, this is something that. This is something that we're going to be working on. So that's kind of there. This was, this is part of my birthday. For my birthdays, I never even made it up. It needs to be laminated. Um, and then these are actually my um, copies for um, this board, like when they finish work early. Um, that needs to be moved to the place where I'm putting it. So, like, this will be gone. Um, so, that's it. I'm making progress, but I feel like part of my problem was that I've just, I have been trying to just do everything at one time, and that's not productive. Because what ends up happening is I'm moving things from one place to another place, and now that place is messy because I'm not thoroughly developing a plan for where everything needs to go. So, working on my desk. I will probably do a little bit of that while we're, like, in the meeting. Depending on, like, what the meeting is, like, about and, like, what it looks like. Because sometimes, you know, you can just listen. Um, and sometimes you have to, like, you know, participate. Like, maybe you're in a breakout room or whatever. Good morning. What's up? How you doing? It's Thursday. Um, and truthfully, I'm coming and hopping on here because I don't even know. I don't even know the last time, like, I picked up the camera. Maybe it was yesterday. Definitely was Monday. <clears throat> but it's been a week, okay? Um, Monday was Monday and hard. Um, it was really hard. It was long. Um, and then I want to say Tuesday was rough in here. Um, and then I had one of my teammates out, so I had, like, my class, then I had her dispersed class, so it was extra kids, and that's always, uh, um, a struggle, at least for me, um, because teachers are different, teacher styles are different, and things are just, you know, no one person runs their class the same, and so sometimes the mesh of that can be a lot, um, and then... When your own class is, you know, getting in the swing of things or trying to get back in the swing of things, it can be even more of, you know, a tassel, a little more of a hurdle. Um, but so Monday and Tuesday, rough. Yesterday, Wednesday, was better. Uh, and I knew that it was better when I had our closing circle. And my kids were able to acknowledge, like, okay, we were better today. We were making more responsible choices. We were talking less. And this is their verbiage. This is what they are saying. I hadn't even said anything um, except today we had a better day. I didn't give any reasonings behind why today was a better day. Um, but they were able to acknowledge what they did better on Wednesday than Tuesday. And that's really kind of what I'm trying to get my class to work on and understand is taking some sort of accountability and being responsible for the choices that you are making. So whether that is your, you are talking or you are allowing someone else to talk to you. Um, one of the other things that I always say to my class is, are you being distracting or are you letting yourself be distracted? And if those are the cases, if you are being distracting, what can you do to stop being distracting? If you are being distracted, what can you do to stop being distracted? Like, and one of the big things when, when we're like on the carpet, because it, it's really not, I, I, I've, I've stopped like telling them like, go ahead and move, move your spot. It's more of, are you being distracted? What can you do? And then you'll see my kids kind of like, you know, move a little bit, change their spot. And it's because I'm trying to get them to hold themselves accountable for their learning. Good morning. I made it to Friday. Happy Friday. Thank you 
for tuning in um, to my week in a life. Um, it's been kind of hard to continue, continuously pick up the camera. It has been a crazy week. It has been a long week. Um, I think I was saying yesterday and then my camera died about um, just the week and how the week has been. Um, I am looking forward to the weekend. I am just looking forward to a reset. I feel like every weekend you need to just do a reset. Um, and so that's what I'm looking forward to for real. Um, but even though it's been a long week, um, I can say that, and I think I was talking about this yesterday also when my camera died, um, but I can see how kids in my class are beginning to really recognize how they are acting throughout the day in a sense of, okay, was I doing all of the things that I need to do to be successful in my learning, which is um, just one of the things that um, I'm trying to get them to understand, that teachers show up to teach you, but in the same, you know, instance of me supposed to come here and teach you, you are supposed to come here and learn, and want to learn, and do what you need to do to learn. Um, and in a sense of what I tell my kids all the time is, <clears throat> you are in charge of your learning. You are responsible for what you are learning. And if you come to school and you are talking when we are learning, when we are, when you are being taught, if you are playing, if you are distracting or being distracted, you have made a choice in your learning to not learn. Um, and so that's just kind of what I'm trying, you know, to at least get them to start thinking about because, you know, they are six and seven, um, and I understand that, but then I'm not going to stop telling them that. I think it's in the same way where people yell at them, or like when you yell at your class or yell at the kids because you're frustrated or whatever, it's the same way of, they're not receiving that in that moment. And so what I try, you know, sometimes my voice goes up a little bit, um, but I'm also telling them to hold me accountable. Because I tell them all the time, like, I do not want to yell at you guys. Like, I don't come here to do that. You know, I come here to teach you. I come here to to love on you. I come here to build this relationship with you. I, I don't come here because I want to yell. I come here because I want you to learn from me and trust me enough to learn from me. And, you know, part of that is not yelling. And, you know, we get frustrated, especially during long weeks. <laughs> in long days um but i take my breaths and i'm active actively modeling myself okay guys I, i'm getting a little bit upset i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna take my breaths and i'm gonna come back when i'm ready and that's what i'm kind of trying to teach them too like okay you're frustrated maybe you're frustrated because it's a little bit hard for you right now Maybe you're frustrated because people are talking to you and distracting you. Maybe you're just having a bad day. You woke up this morning and you're just not feeling it. Take your breaths. And when you are ready, come back and learn. Because um, I know a lot of places, social, emotional learning is big. It's important. And we need to be teaching that. Um, and it's not just during that morning meeting time. It's all day. It's daily. It's, okay, let's take a breath in math. We're not focused. We're not receiving this information. So let's take a second. Okay, and then let's come back. Because what I've learned and what I've been actively like just making it a point is that it does not serve my kids. It does not serve my class to keep teaching because we're on a time oh, I have to finish this by this time to do the next thing. But if I'm teaching it and I'm getting through it by this time, but my class is in la-la land, who's receiving the information and what is the point? 
Because then when the, the next lesson come, then they need what they weren't focused with or focused during in the previous lesson. Nobody wins. So, yep, that's just my spiel on this Friday morning. I am happy that it's Friday. I am in the same breath of where I'm just, you know, I've been a little bit just disappointed in my class. I find myself always just excited for the day um, and just excited for the moments where they're not talking but we're laughing um, or they're saying, I love you, Miss McLeod, or they're just, um, I see them laughing with each other. So, wow, some days I'm just like, gosh, you know, you guys need to focus. Every day I wake up and I still come and I'm just like, I can't wait to see, like, what do they do today that's going to make me laugh? What are we going to joke about today? What good time are we going to have? Because in the midst of learning, I want them to have a good time. I want them to have fun, you know, because learning should be fun. And if it's all learn, 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 no laugh, no fun, no play, no anything, they're really is going to get all mixed up in there and they're going to miss some things. Um, so, um, whenever you are listening to this, um, if your week was hard too, if a day out of your week was hard, I am feeling it with you. I understand and I hope that the next week is better for you and for me. So, I'll be back. chart I did um, find this just from Google um, and thought that it was um, a good way or like a good tool to have for my kids to continually be able to reference as we um, go through place value um, so it just has place value then it has like this this box at the top that tells them about the ones place, the tens place, and then the digits. Um, and then just representing that ten, ten ones is one ten. Um, and then showing them again how um, two tens is twenty plus seven ones, and so that is twenty seven. I'm gonna go sign in, and I will be back. Your name, your faithfulness to me. <laughs> 